Hey guys, today let's take a look at the 2015 and a half Volvo XC60 T6 all-wheel drive. We're gonna start up the XC60, go over most of the aspects of the interior as well as the exterior, and show the engine. And special thanks to Herzog Mar Volvo Volkswagen Mazda for letting me come out and shooting one of their XC60s. And so without further ado. Start up and run. Now along with that smart key, you've also got smart key access. So right now the door is unlocked. Just push the black button. And the mirrors will fold. And to unlock, just put your hand behind. The door unlocks. Now this has the Seville gray exterior with off black leather interior. Now along with that smart key access, the XC60 also has a push button ignition. Just put your phone on the brake. Button start. Cool. Now the XC60 comes with a six speed automatic transmission with a sport mode over to the left. Once you put this into reverse, backup camera will come up along with your parking sensors along to your right. Also this projective path once you turn the wheel. Now when you shift into sport mode, you can use these auto shifters on the left and right to go through your gears. So let's turn the lights. And hazards. We've got full automatic windows. Well, let's check out the exterior. Upon closing the door, the Volvo will chime since the Preston key fob has lost detection from the interior. So, 2015 and a half didn't change much from the XC60. But Volvo introduced a new line of engines. Now, the XC60 is Volvo's number one leading model for their lineup. You see, you've got your LED daytime running light down there, along with the beautiful front end, and there is your radar detection system for your adaptive cruise control. Got your mirrors with LED turn signal. Now coming to the rear of the XC60, as you see, it doesn't look like anything else with its upright LED tail lights as well as your dual exhaust pipes. As you see, you got LED lights coming down. Now as you see on the bottom, we've got your parking sensors. As well as your backup camera right there. The C60 comes with 18 inch Michelin all season pan alloy wheels wrapped in 235-60 tires. 
overall length for the XC60 comes in at 182.8 inches with a height of 67.4 inches with a width of 74.4 inches with a wheelbase of 109.2 inches. So, top to hood. So the XC60 comes with a 3 liter intercooled inline 6, which is also turbocharged with 300 horsepower at 5600 rpm and 325 pound feet of torque at 2100 rpm. Now, fuel economy for this is pretty decent at 17 in the city, 24 in the highway, with combined 20 miles and with an 18.5 gallon. Stepping on in on the left, you've got some storage down below with your window controls as well as your power mirror controls, which are also folding. Over here to the seat, you've got your seat memory. Alright, so let's see how this XC60 sounds like. So this Volvo has the Census Connect for telematics and so on. Now down here, this is where you control your major functions. So your radio, media, telephone, and your car. And that is for navigating around to see what your OK and exit function. So let's start at navigation. You see, you've got your map here. Pretty clear. Now if we press on menu right here, we can repeat voice guidance, we can set destination, route, traffic info, resume guidance, settings, favorite key options, and I believe we can zoom in as well. So navigation, pretty easy. The XC60 comes with the 14 speaker Harman Kardon audio system with 650 watts. That is a pretty good amount of power. And when I tried it out, it sounded really good. But unfortunately, I couldn't give you guys a listen because I didn't have any non copyrighted music on me. But maybe next time. Start at radio. As you see, you've got your normal radio stations, but if we use this. This can be used as a tune button. And if we press the menu button right here, we can go between settings, so HD radio. And that is also your select button. So you can go through things like HD radio. Now when we head over to media, we can play Music from iPod, phone, through Bluetooth, or USB. So if we press menu, see, you can search for device and connect your phone. Now onto your phone settings. As you see, no phone is connected. And as you see, you can also pair your phone here as well to make hands-free Bluetooth calls. Now if we zoom in, as you see, can manage call lists, contacts, 
messages, message notifications, and change phone. Now, if we head up to my car, this is where you control most of the settings. As you see, you've got your collision warning assist, your blind spot, and various safety settings. So if we press on menu, we can go into several different options. So my XC60, you get all your safety system toggles on or off. So auto high beams and etc. If we head over to trip statistics, we can go over how efficient you've been going and where you've been to. Now if we head over to settings, this is where you can control most of your vehicle settings. So vehicle settings, car key memory, lock, light settings, driver support system, lane departure warning again, some of your driver alert systems and more. System options can control your basic settings so you've got your time language distance and fuel units so if you press menu on here let's see temperature unit screensaver show help text and reset system options on to voice control settings tutorial commandless speaker adaption and readout speed Climate settings, auto fan, resolution timeout, auto rear defrost, auto driver seat heater, and the list goes on and on. Going back, now this thing does have a 3G modem, so as you see, you can connect through these things, so Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, so as you see, there is a in-car hotspot. And next, favorite key settings. So I believe there is something in here where you can set favorite keys. Volvo On Call. Uh, this is Volvo's version of OnStar, so you can get telematics, so emergency alert and all that stuff. Information, number of keys, VIN number, and reset to factory. So that is pretty much the gist of the Volvo Census On Call Connect. So let's get to most of the other stuff on the interior. Now up down the center stack is you see you've got your multimedia controls, you've got your CD eject, nav button, shortcut, and you've got your number rows here, which is like a old phone, yeah. You can use these as presets for radio or you can dial this like a phone. Now this is your internet or 3G modem. You got media controls here. Now coming down here as you see you got more HVAC controls, AC. Now when you press cam, this will bring your backup camera along with your backup sensors. And going over here, you've got your climb control so as you see fan dual zone climate and you've got your several safety systems so your parking sensors your blind spot detection system and you've got a few more your heated steering wheel come down here you got two cup holders power outlet and over here you've got a damped center console lid and as well as you've got some ports around there, auxiliary, and I believe it's a USB. Now coming up to your top, you've got your lighting controls here. You've got your SOS button for emergency assistance, as well as your Volvo on call. Now, this is your panoramic sunroof. Just pull it. That's for a vent. Pull a bit more.
Now coming up top, as you see, you've got your frameless window, and as you see, the module over here is City Safety from Volvo. So City Safety by Volvo provides an autonomous braking system. So if you're under 31 miles an hour and you are going to hit a pole, and the system will see that you're going to hit a pole, it will automatically stop if you're under 31 miles an hour. Now, it might not miss it, but sometimes it will hit it determines on what's in front of you could be a pole could be a car could be a tree could be anything but it also has a bicycle and pedestrian tracking so if somebody walks in front or veers out onto your path it will stop or it will slow down now it'll also read road signs so if we look at the instrument cluster in a few moments, there will be a speed sign right there. But it always will try to stop to make the accident avoided or not as serious. And it is standard on all Volvo, so that's a plus too. Now coming to your gauges, as you see, you've got electronic gauges with your LEDs for your shifts and feel. Now, to control the center screen, you can use these things over here. Let's see, you've got an OK button, and that is where you go through settings. If you press OK, as you see, you can go through themes. So press OK again. You've got elegance, eco, and performance, which I do like a bit more. As you see, you've got your speed limit readout, and you've got your power gauge, etc. For the performance mode. Going back here, as you see, we can control what the message is. Your trip computer reset. Service status. Your contrast mode, so you can control your screen. And if we do not go into the menus and we scroll around, as you see, you can control several things or have several things pop out, as you see. Now, you've got your color mode. Now, as you see, in the middle, you've got your adaptive cruise control, as you see. Now coming to your wheel, you've got your cruise control here. This is your adaptive cruise control. So you can set how far of a distance you want. Over to the right, you've got your audio controls. And as what well, this can also control the Census Connect system. So press down is okay. So if we go to navigation, there you go. Now on the right steering wheel, you've got your wipers, as well as rear wipers. And coming over here, you've got your turn signals. Now, over to the left, as you see, you've got your blind spot detection system, and it does illuminate right there. Now, this also does have voice recognition. Just push the button. Help. Which radio functions do you want help with? Select station, radio info, HD radio, wave band, all radio functions or voice controllable sources all radio commands possible commands are select station station WNYC frequency 87.7 to 107.9 megahertz radio info on radio info off you get the gist HD of it radio on. pretty simple exit All right, so that is pretty much the gist of the Census Connect system. Pretty intuitive, I'd say. So let's check out the rest of the vehicle. So let's shut this thing down. And let's check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we?
Kodo? So this is not exactly my driving position, but I've got pretty good amount of space. Down here, you've got your heated seats, as well as power outlet. You've also got your panoramic sunroof. You got cup holders. You've also got some air vents. So let's check out the rest of the vehicle. Now coming to the rear, there are two ways to open the power tailgate. The key fob. Or there's a button on the door. So the XC60 is pretty spacious with 30.8 cubic feet of storage in the rear. Now it is also lined in felt with some lights back here as well as your, a power outlet. Got the same seat controls as you do on the driver's side, just without the lumbar. Got a decent amount of storage. So guys, the XC60 is a pretty good vehicle, especially since it's from Volvo. But that's it for me guys. That is my review of the 2015 and a half XC60. If you guys want more videos like this, please thumbs it up and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.